So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology iOS 26 versus Oxygen OS 16. Now we'll be using the OnePlus 15 over here to go ahead and showcase the latest Oxygen OS 16 and animations. And over here, the iPhone 17 Pro Max, the best iPhone available from Apple right now. So let's go ahead and do, we'll start this video off by talking about home screen navigation. So when kind of swiping through here, the iOS is basically the same here as Oxygen OS 16. However, I am noticing when it kind of transitions between pages, the OnePlus looks and feels a little smoother even to do just this general task. I'm not sure the camera can pick it up, but it just feels a little bit more fluid when I'm like swiping through here and looks that way as well. I feel like it's, I'm not gonna say there's there's no type of lag really on the iPhone 17 Pro Max with this, but it just feels like it's kind of, it's moving along those pages, just a little bit less fluid than the uh, Oxygen OS 16 on the right. So just on the general home screens, the OnePlus does feel a little bit nicer. Also, you can go ahead and go to the home screen settings here, change out some stuff. But if we go to wallpaper and styles, you can go over here and change out icons. So there's a lot of customization and there's a lot of customization here on the left. One thing that is nice though, is that you can add a little bit more layouts, but if you like the categories in the app library, you can go ahead and get those here in Oxygen OS 16, just by going like that. And it's one of the reasons why some people think it looks like a copy over here. But it's funny because even though this kind of takes a page out of iOS's book, you'll see the way iOS scrolls feels a little bit slower in that respect. This still kind of scrolls a little bit smoother. So. Generally on the home screen, we can also pull down over here to reveal ourselves the control panels. And I feel like the bounce is a little bit more dramatic on iOS, comes down a little bit more fluid, I think on oxygen. Um, but both of them do give you a visually pleasing effect. Apples, I like how it bounces between these different sections right here. And this feels a little bit, like I, my brain wants to kind of just keep going forward up and down. So this kind of throws me for a loop a little bit that I have to go this way once I get in here. So I do prefer the way Apple lays this out. But at the same time, I do think this bounce is, is a little bit more visually pleasing over here. But if you like it speedier, you might like the Oxygen OS 16 on the right. Okay guys, so this is not an application test, but we're gonna go ahead and pop through these to kind of see the transitions, the animations, and you can see as we do fly between them, they tend to look about the same. I don't care which phone you're on. They generally look similar there, but there's one area where the OnePlus tends to really look a little bit smoother in comparison. I'll show you quickly when we do go between the Apple iPhone here, we're gonna go back through the applications and you'll see it's very fast and they kind of speed this up in one of the previous beta versions of this, but now, you know, the OnePlus is doing really good as well with its transition. So let me go ahead and show you how the Oxygen OS 16 looks with this parallel processing and this fluid motion it's got. All right, so when we go between the OnePlus, you can see that this is also kind of the same thing, but if you wanna really fly through things, the OnePlus phone does do a really good job as well. So I think if you love the way iOS has tend to look over the years and you want an Android device, this is probably one of the better options out there. It kind of mimics the same type of feel, um, but even stays a little bit to me, a little bit more consistent and uh, smooth with its 120 hertz motions. The phone itself just feels like they were focused more on it staying consistently fluid, whereas Apple was focused more on visual uh, flair. So just making it look pretty with the liquid glass, if you will. Some people are gonna think it doesn't look pretty, but I'm just saying, you can tell the focus was here more on fluidity, more on consistency with the OnePlus and super smooth fluid feel. Whereas you could tell with the iOS, they sped them up a bit, but their real focus here to me was more on liquid glass this year. But it doesn't mean it's behind, they're both kind of playing in a similar league there. But I do just find over time when I've been using these phones over the past couple of months that the OnePlus tends to feel a little bit more consistent and staying smooth. So it tends to just stay a little bit smoother throughout daily use. I find a little bit more transition delays sometimes on the iOS platform. Sometimes the app will just won't look as smooth as it previously looked. So it just happens occasionally. Not so much on the OnePlus though. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and see how their recent pages operate. So you can see you can just swipe through like that. Still no close all button, but this transition is usually very nice on iOS. You can see there is no other way to change it though. So you kind of stuck with this 
card view pretty much all the time. Let's go over here and swipe through and you could see very smooth. Now swiping through the apps, kind of nice there as well. Let's see how the OnePlus handles this. So we'll go over here and you'll see generally the same thing right there. And it's also in a card view as well, but there is a close all button. So the very thing that I want iOS to put in there is made it way here. You'll see as I tap the app, the OnePlus tends to animate in very quickly, much nicer there, so uh, faster. I shouldn't say nicer, that's a little bit more subjective. Let's just say it's faster. So it just flies in a bit quicker. And it also does have a bit more RAM here at 16 gigabytes. So do keep that in mind. If you are looking for a little bit more RAM management, you might enjoy this phone as it does have 16 gigs of RAM and you can expand it with RAM expansion. So this one really is probably the more uh, powerful, if you wanna talk about just having all that extra RAM and you wanna talk about the game boosters and stuff of that sort, like this phone right here, definitely gonna give you a little bit more of that powerhouse feel. Whereas the iPhone has got the powerhouse chip, but it kind of doesn't always take advantage of it. If that makes sense. Let's take a look at their unlock animations. So when we look at the iPhone, you'll see pretty much tried and true face ID. If you do just bring it up, it will see you. It'll see you in the dark due to that sensor. And there's not many Android phones that do that besides maybe the Honor Magic 8 Pro. Uh, there's not too many phones with that type of sensor. Um, so that's a nice touch. Hold on, I got locked out of this phone for some reason. Let's go ahead and look right here. Hold on, you get blocked. I got blocked by the camera, hold on. You can see right there, we're in. And we're in, so we could just bypass the lock screen and we could use a fingerprint sensor. So if we go ahead and click this, I'm gonna be right in. You'll see that both of them kind of do animate, they kind of fly in. So it looks really smooth because they like fly in. But one thing about the iOS side though is that this one tends to, you see it kind of like bounces from the top. So it like, it feels like it's like coming like up and then down. Whereas the, if you look at the OnePlus, it kind of just pops in. But both of them kind of do have that same effect. I just think again, iOS is a little bit more dramatic with it. So when it comes to notifications, you'll pull down from the left on both of them and you'll see the OnePlus kind of does a little bouncing. Now, when you pull down notifications, it kind of flies back into the home screen like that. So it always gives you that animation. You could be in there and it, it looks like you're unlocking the phone. Whereas this one, it just kind of like pops back into the apps without giving you that feel like you're coming from the unlock screen. I don't really like this too much from the notifications area because it, I'm like, I'm not unlocking my phone again. Uh, to me, that kind of slows down the feel of the device, but it is what it is. Over here on the OnePlus, you'll see that kind of bounces a little bit still. So they're definitely different in the way they animate when it comes to those notification areas. All right, guys, so we're gonna tap in a blank area of the screens and see which one gonna bring the keyboard up and how they come up. They both kind of pop up like this. But the thing is, is that the iOS one does come out a little bit quicker. We'll go ahead and tap them again, and pretty much every time, but the iOS one is limited in that it doesn't have the number row. This one also does have AI features right on the keyboard. So I do think the Android side of things is a little bit uh, more useful with the keyboard, but it definitely takes a quick second longer to come up on the Android side. All right, so I made a little quick folder up here, and we'll just see how they look when popping those open and you'll see they both kind of come out the same exact way. It's just there's like a glass around the one on the iPhone, so it looks a little bit different uh, just because of that. But generally, that's about the same. One thing you could do on the OnePlus though, which is pretty nice, is you can enlarge the folder. So you just click right there, and you can make this folder bigger. That is not available here on the iPhone. So that's a little bit neater if you wanna like have a lot more apps you can see visible within that folder on the home screen. It's really up to you though, what you prefer. Now within the app library and the app drawer here on both, they do go through this differently. So you can hold down over here and you'll see sometimes, you've seen right there, the apps aren't even ready and this is official software. So uh, I don't like that because it feels like some beta stuff when you've seen right there that those app icons didn't actually appear yet. That's something that's been happening since I've been on iOS 26. Not a major fan of that, but you know, I would like to see some improvements there. Now you'll see over here on Oxygen OS 16, as I swipe through, very, very fast to go through, and it has like a whole category of the apps within that specific letter. So that's a pretty neat touch. 
But in terms of the animation, how it looks, to me, it looks like it's a little faster there on the right versus a little bit more of a slower uh, intentional list right there on iOS. Again, neither too much different in that respect. It's just this one does give you a group of those apps within that letter. So that could be a little bit more efficient to find the specific app quicker instead of having to look in the section of the list. It just It's just going to be right there front and center. So again, it's up to you. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at their charging animations now. So we'll start with iOS here. I'll just plug in this USB-C. You'll see it shows up there that it's charging. And then once it's charging for a little while, it will tell you how long until it's done. It's not showing me now, but... It does tend to do that sometimes. Let's go ahead and, and see how the OnePlus looks. Now this is not their warp charger. I have that over here, but it's too far down. So you can see a nice little animation shows you how much percentage we're gonna get to and how fast it's going. And this phone charges extremely quicker and the animation is visually pleasing there. You see like a little bubble, a ripple effect just went away over there. So that's kind of cool. I do like that a lot. I do think, um, Apple was not going to bring anything like that, but still you've seen the charging animation a little bit more in your face on the one plus. Okay guys. So let's see how they look when rotating. I'll make sure I have this off uh, locking it and you'll see there goes iOS right there. And to me, it's pretty nice. I think it is a half step behind. Like it, it seems to take a second to register that you just turned it. Let's see how the one plus handles this pretty much the same. So they're both, they both got to take that quick second. I do feel like this one plus is kind of getting the point though quicker. Let's go ahead and do it at the same time to see if I'm correct there. Okay. That was, that was an epic fail. Let's go ahead and do it again. Three, two, go. Yeah. The one plus definitely, I think, okay, maybe not. Let's do it again. This is really tough to turn it at the exact same time. I do think the OnePlus is kind of getting it a little bit quicker though, but they're trading there. They're not too much different. I can't really say one's a winner uh, besides the fact that they both def definitely auto rotate animate about the same. So that's not really a big difference, but I just wanted to check it out. So let's go ahead and wrap it up day to day. I feel like iOS feels like a very intentionally not trying to be the fastest look, but more of a visually bouncy playful. Well, not, I wouldn't say playful, um, polished liquid glass look. You can tell intentionally Apple designed this to be uh, visually pleasing. Like that's just what they're going for. At the same time though, it's not always consistent. Sometimes application transitions will give me a slight stutter. It, it's rare, but it does happen a little bit more than I found on the one plus also in app library. I don't feel like I'm scrolling at 120 Hertz and when just transitioning between pages and apps, it can feel a little bit slower to me than some of the Android competition. Now the one plus doesn't feel like the fastest software out there. I do think one UI seems to go a little quicker, but it doesn't feel as smooth as oxygen. So one plus feels like one of the more fluid software out there. If I go through here, I feel like these apps are just popping open much quicker than iOS. And I do feel like the animation on the unlock screen comes in a little bit faster if you hit the fingerprint sensor, you're in quicker. So this phone feels like the best of like both worlds. It gives you like some of the speed of a Samsung device with some of the visually pleasing effects of a Apple device. So for me, there's no 100% winner. It really comes down to what you want. Um, but when we talk about pure fluid feel, OnePlus would be the winner. When we talk about, you know, if you like the visually slower look, I mean, this would be the winner. But keep in mind, um, or the visually pleasing look. If you like the iOS look, that would be the winner. But keep in mind over here on this device, I do want to mention something. This is not um, trying to be biased just towards them, but they do have this animation effect here, which you can actually slow it down even more. And then it'll, it'll kind of operate a little bit closer to the way iOS pops things open. You see this? It's like more of a standard animation versus the enhanced, which pops things open very quickly. So OnePlus can kind of operate exactly like the iOS experience if you wanted to in that animation mode. So pretty fun. So that's going to wrap it up here. Really, really great phones enjoying uh, where we are with smartphones these days. Animations are getting better and better every year. Looking forward to Apple refining and getting more stability done with the next iOS version, improving upon this and uh, just continuing to refine um, the 
OnePlus. Looking forward to them uh, possibly giving us a little bit more of a uh, snappier animation mode as well on top of those enhanced and relaxed modes. Because I do think that some of the One UI stuff looks a little bit faster sometimes uh, just in the way it pops things open. But this is still incredibly fast. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know which other animations videos you like to see going forward. I'll catch you on the next one. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace. <laughs>